<laughs> Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Guitar Arsenal. Uh, just fooling around a little bit there just to get some sounds out of this uh, beautiful James Trussart um, Steel Guard Caster. Um, this is basically James Trussart's take on a Telecaster, of course. You can see the you know, famous shape of this guitar. Uh, James Trussart's been making some pretty interesting artistic creations uh, for quite some time. And uh, I acquired this uh, particular guitar uh, in a little horse trade not too uh, terribly long ago. And I uh, thought that I would show it off because it is a very unique instrument. And uh, it's as much art as it is uh, function and form and, and beauty in general. Uh, it is a very beautiful instrument. Uh, this is the one that's got the rose motif on the metal parts. Also, James Trussart's uh, guitars all have a very unique headstock design with that metal inlay. And some would argue that that gives a little bit more mass in the headstock, which can increase sustain. I don't know uh, if that's true or not, but um, these are definitely interesting guitars. And James Trussart is most well known for his steel body guitars uh, that he distresses and ages and makes look uh, really crazy. Um, all of his steel guard line guitars and his, um, I guess they call them steel casters, which are basically just wooden bodied guitars, but with metal uh, pick guards. Um, or kind of like one of his, I don't want to say recent, but it's another way for him to get guitars out there to people that aren't quite priced as high as some of the metal guitars that he makes. The aging process that James Trussart's metal guitars go through takes a long time, and it also drives the cost of the instruments up considerably. Uh, they are rather expensive. These can be had for generally a good bit less money. Um, this is a pine driftwood body, okay? So it is pine, it's got a, a very odd feel to it, almost squishy. Like the guitar body almost feels like I could squish it if I really squeezed it hard and, and you know get the fibers to compress. Um, this is a piece of driftwood uh, that this body is made out of. I don't know how old, but sometimes he sources random bits of wood from really crazy places and this happens to be an old piece of driftwood uh, that the body is made out of. It's a hard maple neck that's stained gray. Um, and it sounds wonderful. It's very bright. The pickup configuration on this guitar, you have a, a typical three-way selector, just like a normal Telecaster, volume, tone, and then you also have three-piece barrel, brass, bridge saddle, um, just like you do on any other Telecaster. Um, you also have a TV Jones in the neck. Okay. And heck, what, what was that pickup again? Uh, Chad, you got that written down there? That, that he makes. So he winds this bridge pickup, guys, and uh, he does make his own pickups. Now, the TV Jones, that's kind of its own brand of um, pickup. Now, guys, James Trussart, he is French, and his handwriting is a little bit, <laughs> I don't want to say, arcane. Okay, so the arcane bridge pickup. This is uh, some of the literature that came with the guitar when I got it. I'm glad you can read that. I can read every bit of it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, so just according to the paperwork here, we've got a steel guard caster, with the red roses engraved and driftwood body. And we got a 62 style, uh, 62 shaped neck, stained gray, maple neck. I can read that. I don't know what you're talking about. And you got the regular TV Jones and Arcane Tele Bridge. Bam. Read it all. All right. Well, anyway, uh, it is a wonderful sounding guitar. Um, the TV Jones is a little bit underwound and it has a kind of a bright, jangly sound to it. Um, let me clear out this looper. And guys, I'm just now getting used to using this looper, so I appreciate or I uh, apologize um, if my loops are really sloppy and my playing's really sloppy. Uh, it is what it is. Okay, here's a shot of just right through the amp uh, with the TV Jones pickup on this. <laughs> You get the idea there. All right, middle. So the bridge pickup on this arcane bridge pickup is a pretty hot pickup. When I switch to the bridge, you'll hear that it's a good bit hotter than the neck. 
So you get this very, very, very twangy sound when you have the TV Jones in the neck and the Arcane in the bridge. The middle position is much brighter, I would dare I say, than a standard Telecaster. And it sounds a little bit of something like... <laughs> Bridge pick up. You get the idea there, right? Very twangy. Uh, we'll engage a overdrive pedal and just fool around a little bit and go through the settings on the guitar. See, see how bright that is? So we'll dial out the tone all the way and let's listen to the sweep of the tone control on the bridge pickup. You can definitely dial out a tone on the neck, but let's, let's, let's try to clean up that bridge pickup a bit. <laughs> Not bad, okay? Um, yeah, let's play around a little bit. So uh, let's get back on the neck pickup. Ugh, I'm out of tune, guys. Let me remedy that, I'll be right back here. Okay, it was just the, just the B string, sorry. All right, yeah, I guess I was bending a little bit silly on that B string. All right, um, let's loop. All right, let's loop something. Okay, and we're gonna play around with a, I've got a Love Pedal Believe, uh, we just did a little video on this pedal and uh, I'll experiment around uh, the TV Jones I'm sure is something a lot of people really want to hear so let me shut up and uh, come up with something here
right now. Uh, tell you what, let's loop a little bit just for fun. I'm gonna engage your fuzz. That's how you play around a little bit. I mean, I didn't know where that was going, but you know, hey, it's always fun to just take stuff that you have at your disposal and uh, and make it work. So the only bad thing about that looper is like I'll, I'll use the stop function on it and I'll stop my loop, but then when I go to clear the loop, it gives me a little splashback of all the noise I just made. But uh, guys, that's the James uh, Trussart uh, <laughs> Steel Guard Caster. It's a wonderful guitar. It's a very high quality instrument. They're not especially inexpensive, but they are very well made and they're artfully made and they're made with, dare I say, love. These guitars really are special. And James puts a lot of pride into his work. And yes, he charges for it, but he does wonderful work. And these guitars are just great. Uh, even if, you know, the, the roses, you know, I know it's a little, you know, kind of is what it is. It almost reminds me of like a, dare I say, a modern Paisley, okay, in a lot of ways. You know, the, this. you look at this guitar and you think, hey, this, some rockabilly chick needs to be playing this, which, by the way, there is a lady in, in Atlanta here that's a rockabilly lady, and she plays this exact guitar, and she just kills it. But all that aside, it, it's a modern Paisley. It's his take on a Paisley, and he did a wonderful job on it. You know, it, it has that almost feminine look, but... In a, in a just a really awesome way. You know what I mean? The same way that Brad Paisley can pick up a Paisley telly and it's pink and it's ugly, but Brad Paisley can make it sing. And this guitar is no different. You know, this, this has the artistic form, but also the, the sonic capabilities of a wonderful handcrafted instrument. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, we post every Monday and Friday. Uh, we hope that you enjoy these videos. Let us know if you wanna see more gear reviews, if you wanna see more pedals, if you want us to demo amplifiers, please let us know and we will be happy to accommodate anything you want. We also do lessons and things of that nature. So um, let us know if you like the lesson oriented materials. We also have a series we do called Tone Talk where we just lay out basic things, jam, have a little fun. We bring on special guests and things. So be sure to check that out. So uh, guys, thank you for watching today's video and we will see you next time. Wonderful little guitar. Let's hear that fuzz by itself real quick on the way out here. I was playing around with that, but you didn't get to hear the fuzz. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.